Another issue that's come before the, uh, the transportation policy that you had happened had to do with regional uh, T squads. Um, and uh, we've talked about that before, and I think the county commission recently voted on that last night uh, to join the regional T squads idea. Uh, it was already a safety play as the required number of counties had already uh, come out for it, and you know, I, I think it's the position of like the position is to be a you know good neighbor to these contiguous counties and, um, and see how that see how that unfolds. Uh, this T's plus and any I'm gonna I can really defer to anybody else that wants to explain it. Uh, but you have these counties, I think we have it up here, the counties, correct? Okay. Uh, they get together and then ten of them vote uh, to set up a round table discussion. Then there's a round table discussion and they start talking about projects that the regional t spots would handle over the 10-year period. It's a 10-year t spots uh, And you can get a lot of things done. Uh, Tim and I have talked about it before. Not every region has done this, but those that have done it have seen uh, a, a lot of money pour in and projects, projects come in, and it's worked well for them. Um, so there, there's good and bad. The bad part is, is that there, there's a bad part of or our concern for this committee was during that 10-year period, Lowndes is unable to pass its own t -spots. So that was why we had a different opinion than, than our uh, city and county fathers made that. But I understand where they're coming from, and I understand, uh, I understand that the role that has to be taken now, Lowndes needs to assert leadership in this thing since 10, 10 counties have already come up and said we're going to do it. It's going to do it. So. Don't sit around and get beat up on it. It still has to be voted on 2018. May of next year. Yeah, May of 2018. If it passes, then we're locked in for that 10 year period with this regional concept. If it doesn't, then we're free to do our own two spots if we wish on our, on our project. So that's, that's, I don't know how clear as mud that may have been, but that, that's sort of where we are on this thing. So we'd be happy to entertain any comments at all from anybody on the regional teach clause concept. Mr. Chairman? Maybe. Well, I'll be glad to comment on it. Um, as you said, the County Commission took action on that issue last night and we did vote to support the regional concept. Uh, you can look at this many different ways. Um, and the way that the uh, Commission was looking at it, and I'm, I'm going to say this is for the Chairman's position primarily. Well, we did have some do did have some good discussion, do have some differences of thoughts on this issue. But reality is is that if uh, you have the 10 counties, it's going to go before the voters at that point. To, um, and so I firmly believe number one in giving the opportunities to the cities uh, or to the citizens in these in our community to have that option for them to look at it from a regional concept. Now from the standpoint of Lowndes County, Lowndes County certainly in the term, if you want to call it that, and it had been called in the past, it will probably be a donor county. However, if you're going to look at Lowndes County as a regional hub, then you have to take a certain amount of responsibility to that road and realize that over 50%, a little over 50% of the, of the sales tax that is generated in Lowndes County does come from our neighboring counties. So it's important as much as anything to us is that we have cooperation with them that on the connectors specifically between those communities that if we if we do have the regional concept we will have cooperation with them to have better thoroughfares and better transportation routes for those individuals to come into our community and spend those spend those dollars so i feel i feel good about that now there again it does have to go to the voters on may the 18th and they will have that option i just personally felt like that it was the best position for Lowndes county to take uh to put us in the best position uh not only from a regional concept if you, want to, if you want to put yourself in that role then that's where you need to be at and we certainly are there that's that's where, that's where Lowndes county is at so to recognize that move forward with it on that effort uh give uh, the citizens that opportunity to have that decision it would have been much easier just to say no we don't want to be a part of it it still would have went to the voters but then you wouldn't have had a whole lot of support you might say and you could
could say that if, if the local government was totally opposed to it, then a lot of times the citizens are going to be opposed to it as well. Uh, I just felt like that it was best to put the most positive um, print on it, give it an opportunity, let everybody decide whether you really feel like that you're a regional hub and can you benefit from the regional transportation. There's no doubt that the Beltway through the middle of Georgia, uh, I've heard them say that that was to some degree by design. I mean, you've got all of the regions from, from Augusta all the way down and back over to Columbus. Uh, a lot of those elected officials initially were totally against the regional concept when they first come out. But I would dare say that if you interviewed either one of them right now, they would tell you that it's the best decision that ever happened, the best vote that they ever had. Because they are seeing uh, great resources to where they can actually connect their area. They're going to get some benefits that are going to, at this time, put them ahead of all the other regions simply because they're now collecting, uh, connecting uh, West Georgia to East Georgia and will be able to get the full benefit of the courts. Those are some things that we, we have to consider and certainly with this region as connecting as close as it does uh, to the port, it's gonna be extremely important for Lambs County to have good t connectivity uh, with many different routes, not just our state route, but other routes to our local communities as well as a further grant system. So I just felt like it was the best thing for us. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and uh, Mr. Chairman, if you can, or anybody can answer that. I just want to make it clear. I may be Corey. Uh, on the vote on, in May of 2018, does it pass if a majority of counties pass it, or does it pass if a majority of all the votes? Popular vote. Popular. Nice. I'm here.